Well, state auditors were in Mason, Tennessee today going over the books for the financially troubled town. Facing public blowback for threatening the town to surrender its charter or else, the state comptroller met with town leaders earlier this week and came up with what he described as a positive plan for moving forward. But town leaders told me tonight they aren't so sure. The tall water tower in the tiny Tipton County town of Mason, Tennessee shows you just how long Mason's been around. And the size of its city hall shows it's never been a boom town, far from it. Decades of financial problems only made worse when Mason's private prison, the town's major employer, was told it could no longer house federal inmates. So state comptroller Jason Mumpower recently came in with an ultimatum. It's now being walked back if state auditors in Mason today can confirm that the town's claims are true, that it's been working to pay down its debt. We proving that we are capable and able to handle uh, the town's affairs because we showed them numbers. Like so much else in this part of the state, so much of what's going on is about black and white. Blacks make up a majority of Mason, but only recently were voted in power. Before that, most of the mismanagement was under white leadership. A town clerk embezzled $100,000, and a public works superintendent was indicted for paying himself $600,000 over eight years. I think it's still racial has something to do with the fact of who running the town. But Rivers says it's also about green. With Mason just five minutes from the massive Blue Oval City plant Ford Motors is about to build, suddenly Mason may be on the cusp of being a boom town. And while she's hopeful the state will decide to scale back its financial oversight once it goes over the numbers it got today, right now she worries because nothing is in writing. Vice Mayor Rivers says the state could scale back its financial oversight as early as June. For his part, Comptroller Mumpower denies race had anything to do with his decision to take over the town's finances, pointing out the previous two times that his office has done so, the towns were majority white.